What you gonna do today? Uh, hey, did, did, did what's your name them get out you yesterday? Who? These nuts. Oh, shut up, nigga. But I wanna ask you one question. If I had some nuts hanging on the wall, what do I have, honey? I'm just a darling, you have some walnuts. She said, well, daddy, if I had some nuts on my chest, would those be chestnuts? I said, hell yeah. She said, well, daddy, if I had nuts under my chin, would those be chin nuts? I said, hell no, bitch, you'd have a dick in your mouth. Chicky check, microphone check, one. Chicky check, microphone check, two. Chicky check, microphone check, three. Check game from the notorious Captain G. Back with some shit that got the bump. As you pull up in the park, you pop your truck. Just the force of like a motherfucker crowding this shit. Got your dangers on your hoopty and your fly ass bitch. Throw off, throw off. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. I like to say welcome to the show tonight, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. What's so damn funny? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's give a hand to all the people in the house tonight. Yeah. We got Miss Magacia in the house tonight. What's up? What's yeah. cracking? What's Can't so, City in the house. Right? What's so damn sexy in the house tonight? What's yes. cracking? All right, we got guests tonight, y'all. And uh, we got guests of a different kind tonight, y'all. We're going to have to tone it down for a little while anyway, because uh, we got the pastor in the house tonight. <laughs> And, thank uh, God. Yeah, thank God he here. He's going to say a prayer for us so we all make it through tonight. We're going to start it out with a prayer. As a matter of fact, can the pastor just come on up to the table and say a prayer for us tonight? Since you're here, we're going to make it official. You might as well step right on over to that microphone and bless the uh, show for the night. That's how we start right the here. show tonight. Right Amen. Right here. right here. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Might as well start every week like that while you hate it. Oh, Father God, we thank you again for this opportunity to be on the airwaves. We thank you, God, for those who are listening. Pray, oh God, for those who are even in the studio at this time. Your presence will be here, that you will be glorified and the devil horrified. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yes, give Jesus yes, a hand God. tonight. Yes, God. Hey. Yes, God. All right. Yes, God. Bless us, God. Yeah. Just to let you know, we keep it at 100 up in here. Amen. Yes, sir. Okay, what we going to talk about tonight, y'all? I'd like to say, first off, uh, we like to say uh, hello to the funny lady doing the show tonight. Uh, she's rocking the crowd somewhere and making it happen. She's doing she's the big All the way in style. Cerrito. Ooh, not all the way in Cerrito. Oh, I mean, it's close, but it's far. It is far, shoot. I mean, it ain't, it ain't D.C. Cerritos. But, <laughs> <laughs> but Cerritos, is, they got a check over there. That's where you're going to go get it at. Right. That's right. Yeah. So, Shout out to San Gabriel Valley. <laughs> All right. I'd like to say hello to another guest of mine, Miss China, in the house tonight. Miss China, say hello to the crowd tonight. Hello. How are you guys doing? Yes. Wonderful evening. It's okay, Mom. Speak right on into that microphone okay. so they can hear you. Cause, uh, How are you guys doing? All right. There you go. Yeah. Hook her up. Make sure she in there. Miss China, tell us why you're here tonight. What's a good reason for you to be here tonight? Give it up. Oh, boy. Let I'm, us know. I'm huh? here to help save uh, women that have some kind of testimony. Uh, I've been through a whole lot. I've been uh, almost 400 pounds. Um, I'm just trying to help women to lose weight. All right. Feel great. Show sure enough. And get in shape. Lose weight, Amen. feel great, Amen. and get in get shape. In shape. Amen. Hey, if you ain't made a logo of that yet, you know you need to put that down. Okay. Oh, I sure. And that equals long that. life, though. Yes, sure it enough. sure does. Yeah. And that's what I. That's my ministry is health and wellness. Yeah. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. And and Carlos gonna help me get this fat off my butt. So oh, how long God. have you been doing this? Oh gosh. Um. Since I had surgery, uh, 2000. Eleven. What kind of surgery? I had um, liposuction. Oh, you I had, had the re fat reduction fat surgery. Fat reduction, and okay. I had uh, hernia repair. Mm -hmm. I had a hernia the size of a grapefruit. And was that Whoa. because of the weight? Like what was it? It was. Um, I think it came from diet. Mm -hmm. uh, so what you eat can grow other things in your body. In your body, uh -huh. the tumors in your body. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got that surgery done overseas. I lived overseas for five years. Okay. okay. And I almost died. So, so I had a nine-hour surgery, two blood transfusions. 
I was sick for, I'm just recovering. All right. Well, just let's let's well, be the glad liposuction? that you did. God. The liposuction, <laughs> and it was a dermaplectomy. They cut this. And it made so you it sick. Made me sick. Oh I got. It, I developed high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. I developed anxiety, heart problems, and diabetes. So oh this is similar God. to like what happened to Kanye West, Mama. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it just right. didn't kill me because I'm supposed to be here right now. Amen. Hey, 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 sure enough. Amen. Okay. Amen. Wow, that's awesome. So. So I've lost about 160 pounds. All right. Wow. So what do you eat now compared to what you ate before? Because oh, you said it was from what you ate. I eat all organic food. I eat a little bit of meat. I drink a lot of water. I exercise. I try to stay spiritually connected with God so that it's, it makes it easier for me. So, like, yeah. a lot of women I've heard, they do, like, journaling and meditation. Do you do that as I well? I do meditation. I do yoga. Mm -hmm. I meditate a lot in the sauna. In the sauna? Mm -hmm. Isn't it fun? I like the sauna myself. I, I think that it does a lot mm -hmm. yeah. for my body. I'm kind of crazy. I'll, like, eat garlic cloves and then get in the sauna and thinking I'm going to really get cleansed out. Like, oh, well, you, you will. Just, right? <laughs> Like I do, it up the all kind of crazy stuff. I mean, but I mean, when you in there, you better smell yeah. garlic than bo. Oh yeah, that's okay. right. I mean, for some people get in there, they be funky. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. That's I mean, like I put conditioner on my hair before I get mm -hmm. in the sauna, mm -hmm. and I put like vitamin E on my face. That's right. And then, right. Yeah. I, I mean, I try to be healthy. It, I'm, I'm doing organic. pretty good before it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Rock that well, up. you have to do everything yeah. natural. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Um, I use. I make. I'm a hairstylist and instructor. Me too. All right. right. Me too. Okay, yeah. What? Shut up. What? You better stylist. know that I am. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. And one for over 30 years. Shut okay. your mouth. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Mm. All right. We're not going to talk about hair tonight, okay. though, y'all. No, okay. no hair. Yeah, we're going to talk about that <laughs> hell, that life that you've been living, huh? You oh, feel boy. better now than before your surgery? Oh, yeah, and then I take some herbs. It's called Ganoderma. It's a mushroom. It's a coffee. I, I like mushrooms. Um, okay. Uh, this is a, a healing mushroom, and it has me off all my medications. I was on Amen. a boatload Amen. of high blood pressure medicine, and now I'm all off, and it's all natural from God. Wow. Yes, sir. That's awesome. And I bet that's where that water kicks in. So you do at least eight glasses a day? or I try. I, I would say four. Four. <laughs> four to up that glass. Four to eight water, ounces. Huh? Yeah, I have to. Yeah. But see, my stomach, it gets bloated. Okay. The food, yeah. it, it causes uh, the colon. That's why a lot of people have colon cancer. Uh -huh. Because the food gets stuck in there. Sure enough, sure enough. And, yeah, it, and it's hard for me to, to drink water. So I got to cleanse myself out, and then I'll be able to get that water in there. I usually try to get up with my gallon of water and go to the gym and, like, try to commit to at least scarf and half it before I leave the gym. Mm -hmm. That's so a good as way. I go through the exactly. day and eat my food, I'm getting additional water. Right. So do you work out first thing in the morning? Or do you... I work out at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Good no, when do you sleep? You know, that's important, too. I know. I get about, okay. I get, I go to bed around 7, 30, 8. Okay. And then I get the Holy Spirit give me up three three thirty. You sure do, cause ain't nobody else gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you married? Are you an intercessor? Yeah. I'm a co-parenter. A co-parent. I co-parent. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Shoot. What did you up, eat today? I, I, I grew up. My kids grew up Muslim, in Islam. Wow. So, and then that's another reason. Fifteen years of getting up at four o'clock in the morning it makes a lot. And then wow. I lived overseas in another country. That's twelve hours. Difference. Oh. I'm still on that. On that clock. Oh. Sure enough, I feel you. But see, the Muslims get up before the war. All right. You know I guess you gotta. That's called what you prepared. call preparation. Stay prepared. Uh, now, yes, sir. My body's still prepared. The spirit. But that's how they did back in the day. Grandma would be up all night sure watching enough. the outside while Grandpa slept because he had to go to work. Sure enough. And then when the kids didn't come up from school, Grandma would get her some rest I and like patrol. make the food. And yes, I patrol because I have five kids and I got to make sure everything is right. Yeah. <laughs> five. Because at three or four o'clock in the morning is when they be creeping. Okay. So, and I be like this. And right there. Where you think you going? Where you think you, you going? You play it, play it. No, that's what you can't do. Sure enough. So what did you eat today? Today I ate, um, wait a minute, this morning I had my coffee. All right, I love me And some the coffee, coffee is a beneficial aspect to yes, your diet. exactly. Because it gives beneficial, like, what does that coffee exactly do? Because I've heard of it, organic gold, but. That's what it is. Oh, okay. That, but oh, it has, she, she, yeah, it has part chocolate. genius. Yeah, <laughs> she sure is. She own it. Yes, her. Um, okay. 
it has benefits. It lowers your blood pressure. It cures diabetes, cancer. I'm not going to say, well, it cured me. I'm not it's, on my medicine. You know, They're finding more and more benefits for coffee, too. Just a little bit, you know, do a lot of yeah, Showing up, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And then for, what did I have for for breakfast? Oh, no, I wasn't there. Um, <laughs> let me, let me That's all I'm saying, you know. <laughs> well, I know also in conjunction with the mel um, with the. Ganoderma. Uh huh. They also have like um, an all natural product line called Melaleuca. And they have over 250 all natural products as far as like um, topical medicine, tea tree oil, and mm -hmm. lotion, soap, mm -hmm. deodorant without the uh, cancer causing exactly. agents in it, yeah, and the yeah, toothpaste, yeah. Exactly. and those sorts of things. So That's what I use. Yeah, I use, I use those. I'm an advocate for that too. Got too. Yeah, I mean, because you have to be careful what you put on you, in you. Sure. Man, today I try to enroll my daughter in school, and they want me, I don't believe in the shots, the immunizations, and they want me to give my child 23 shots since she's 12 Ooh. years old. Do you know what that will do to her? Man. You homeschooling? I'm going homeschool. I'm telling you, that's what I did for my kids. I, I'm a homeschooler. Okay, you got to keep your kids, you know, you got to be gotta careful because it's crazy. Three they taking shots. over. You got to get shots. That's a right. That's that's one of our that's one of our rights um, to religion and personal belief, and they took it away. Yeah, but see, I when I felt like crap in that school. Like, my daughter can't come to school. Right. When your kids start from kindergarten, they're automatically to get those. But yeah, see, right. she's had her children the whole time right. in a private situation where she didn't have to expose them exactly. to the poison that they're trying to get us to pump into our children to make them weaker and less knowledgeable. You exactly. know, I'm definitely an advocate for that because my kids are smart too. We could we could sign a waiver before, but now there's no waiver. Exactly. Shut sure up. They're taking it away. They took it yeah. away. Yeah, I think it's funny that how. When you go to the doctor with your kids, when they get about 13, they put you out the room. Like, right, so that's, <laughs> that's some BS to me. It's not yes. happening. I'm, I'm not like, going out. Right, what I'm you got to say to them, you say to me. Yeah, My daughter's like, let her go. I was like, uh, <laughs> uh. Well, that's why I got some grandkids now. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, I don't have nothing. She jumped out the window and came back like, huh. voila. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, let her go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I caught a baby little voila now. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's my Buddha. That's right. <laughs> She's smart too, though. But yeah. so, your, your five children are they helping you with your workout? Do you guys work out together? Because Carlos and you are when you guys gonna start? We're gonna start ASAP. Oh yeah. Say it again. I need an ASAP. Alrighty then. Oh, all right. I gotta see these before and after pictures. So how oh, long oh, do you oh, need oh, to transform yeah. her, Carlos? It all depends on oneself because mm -hmm. one has to be dedicated to the program in order for the self to change. And if you uh, slip and sliding. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a long time. If you in there for real, though, <laughs> uh -huh. then you'll start seeing change. So yeah. dedication is like, what, it, three to four days of working out? or uh, Me, myself, I, I, I stress more than three to four days. I mean, if you only working out three to four days, I don't Everybody that's great never did nothing just three or four days. Mm. They went hard in the paint five, six days out the week. One day of rest. Mm. Ask God. So do you call it getting money, too? I call it that. Get in. I call it getting money when I work out. It makes me feel good. I know. Hey, I like whatever you. motivation, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's, that's the most important thing. And self-motivation is the most important. Man, yeah. good Lord. But if you ain't got it, I got it for you. So when you're helping women, you have a website, or how do you help them? Like, what is the... Well, I have a beauty education center, and I'm trying to get that. I'm not trying. I'm going to get that going. I'm going to have workshops, and we're going to be on Pasadena. Media, um, UVerse. Do you have an address already? Charter. Um, yeah, my address is 2310 Lincoln Avenue and in Altadena. Do you have a website that yes. we can go to? Yes, my uh, website is www.themightywomenofgod.org. Okay, say it again because you said the, a lot. Okay, www.themightywomenofgod.org. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I got my shirt on here. Oh, Show you right. Awesome. Stand up and see that shirt. Girl, yeah. Make sure you get that for him. So, I mean, you said you were 400 pounds. I was, three, I was 370. So, I mean, is it, is it appropriate to ask how much you weigh now? It's okay, because everybody got to know because I'm a... Because I'm going down. You're walking You're a survivor. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a testimony. There you yes. go. Yeah. Yes. You can say it I all the way even, to the bitter end. I don't even feel bad to say I've gained 20 pounds in the past four months for stress. Mm. Well, but we don't have to. You, know you got to let that go. Focus. It's all good because I am um, a work in progress. I'm a motivator. Okay. <laughs> so if I can gain 20 pounds in four months and then lose it, in ten in two months, mm -hmm. then the other people can do it too. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So you know how when you do a TV show, you got to gain some weight mm-hmm. or you got to lose weight. Mm-hmm. That's what I had to do to be a testimony for these these women. Ooh, honey. Because I'm going to lose it. Watch, y'all going to be like, that. That's China. Mm-hmm. Well, Ch- China, you got a name for it, baby. Your name is Poppy right now, honey. China. <laughs> China Poppy. China. Well, hey, China, Poppy. you know, uh, <laughs> lo and behold, that we going through all of your, uh, brought your uh, baby with you, right? And uh, I think she's magnificent on the microphone. Am I not, not correct? Oh, yeah. She's Sing, she's right? Oh, she's yeah. Sang. She Matter passed it in the Teen Idol. Oh, there you yeah. go. Let's bring Miss Teen Idol up to the right. Oh, yeah. Come on over here. She's got yeah. Fallout Records. Come on over here. Yeah. <laughs> Follow Ricky. Mr. Teen Idol. Pasadena, y'all. Pasadena Teen Idol. Uh-oh. We're going to give her a microphone where we at. Yeah. What you finna do? Go solo? <laughs> what you got for us? Give us something. We can go your big chance, baby. Give us oh, a, a, give us a, a hot, acapello. A hot 20 seconds. Watch okay. out now. Maybe even okay. 25 if you're good. Not okay. On. The mic all right, get yourself together. The, the camera's on you now, baby. Oh, get your little cheese on. on you. Cheese yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. This is Little China in the building. Her name is Asia. Asia. It's Asia. Oh, shoot, you ain't go far from home, huh? <laughs> from China to Asia. Hey, huh? Y'all didn't want no confusion, huh? It's China to Asia. Hmm. It's on. How, what the rest of the kids' name? I'm curious. I didn't know. <laughs> My oldest daughter, is, she's 24. Her name is I'm Unique. Oh, I'm yeah. Unique. Okay. Mariah is 22. Mm-hmm. Asia is 18. Sabia is. 12, and I have two twin boys, Abdur Rahman and Khalil. She got real with them names. So they good. got Arabic names. Okay, my name what is Hebrew. Name? So, okay. Yeah. What's your name? Megasha. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. What's that mean? Super greatest, mighty strong, strongest. That's right. Yes. All right. Got to have some names with some meaning. Yes, ma'am. Shit. You ready, Miss Asia? I'm ready. Okay, you All need right. anything in the background? You gonna hit it for us? She just gonna hit it. Is it a song you made up yourself, or what are you singing for us today? Um, you gonna John sing Legend. what? John Legend. Okay. Ordinary people. All righty. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm in love with you, but this ain't the honeymoon. Past the infatuation phase. Right in the thick of love. At times we get sick of love. Seems like we argue every day. I know I misbehaved and you made your mistakes and we both still got room left to grow. And though love sometimes hurts, I still put you first and we'll make this thing work. But I think we should take it slow. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh my goodness, and you're Miss Who? Pasadena's finest. Pasadena <laughs> Idol. I won Pasadena Idol in 2014. Uh-huh. And currently I'm in a girl group. Well, it's a duo. Uh-huh. Um, it's called Element Essence. Okay. And so. I think we got a little something, something about that. Oh, we do. Yeah, I'll be what playing. What we got? Around. What we got? Who yeah? Are we gonna play something that the yeah, little mama didn't make? Dude, okay. I'll uh, keep uh, it oh, we about to spotlight you tonight, honey yeah, girl. I'm getting it all tonight, mama. And how old are you, Miss Lady? I'm 18. You're 18 years yes. old. So besides your duet band that you have now, what else do you have in the workings? Um, do you write your songs? Yeah, okay. I write. Um, I record. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just working on that right now because it's pretty much fairly new. So. I'm just working on building that up, building up my social media uh-huh. fan base. And so music. if you could explain your technique or your swag <laughs> in one or two sentences, what would it be? I would describe myself as I would describe myself as artistic. Mm-hmm. I can be simple. Mm-hmm. It's, a sim- it's a simple way of expressing it. Mm-hmm. Um, passion. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of passion behind what I do. Um, you know, those, those are the three words. You know? Okay. Those so you words. consider yourself like R&B? Or? Yeah, I'm R&B, Neo Soul. Um, yeah. Do you rap too? I can rap, but I, I don't make rap music. That's <laughs> like, right. So okay. who's your idol? Who do you love? Um, I have a few influences. Um, Erica Badu is one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. um, Joe Scott. Mm-hmm. Um, D'Angelo. It's just a lot of the 90s music. Those are some good ones, too. Shoot, I like I'll that, too. That's, like, all I listen to right now. Hmm, mm, I like, what's that? Who you like? Who you like? Nina! <laughs> yes! Because it was just so much talent and originality 
and you see you have a lot of originality to you and a lot of talent. So I'm looking forward to seeing whatever you do and congratulations and big ups and right, right. Because y'all love the way you ask questions, Mama. Hit, hit, do her thing, yo. Hit her, y'all. Let's see, let's, let's see her. Man. So, with yeah. you and your duet partner, what is her name? Her name is Chantrice. Chantrice. Man, that sounds like some good chilling on a Sunday, yeah. driving down the beach and with your best friend, whoever she might be, he might be, and playing that with the sunroof down. That's right. Or, I said, I see the top down, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sunroof down. <laughs> you can tell my car, oh. <laughs> And the sunroof go down. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me I, what else you do. Um also we're also performing this Saturday at the Paseo in Pasadena. All right. Oh, at the gonna... Paseo? What's Paseo. that? The Paseo is a it's a mall. Yeah, oh, okay. And place. what time are you performing at the Paseo? We're gonna be performing mall. at eleven fifty three AM. 11.53 AM at yes. the mall. How many song how long will you be on stage? Um We'll probably be up there for about six minutes. Okay. She said it's pretty short. But. Is it an all-day thing that they're having yeah, musical it's a acts? Event. It's, it's a women's empowerment event. Oh. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. need to mention that. That's awesome. Yes. So I have a flyer to show you guys. Okay. Well, give us the flyer. We can put it on and, you know, talk yeah. about it or have it on the that's web or something yeah, for people to look at. Yeah, like that's awesome. She Let me know next time. I'm gonna be oh, there. Well, she does a lot of. You're doing yeah, Expressions a, Friday tomorrow. Too. I have a lot of events coming up. A lot. Okay. Yeah, um, All right. In that Hollywood, awesome. Pasadena, oh. LA area. Okay. Oh, awesome. Something tomorrow. Oh. All righty. Well, good. Big ups to that. You sure work in right. LA. You work in it, girl. It ain't easy to work LA. Sure okay. Ain't. okay. So if you can work in. here, you can work anywhere. anywhere. Right. Okay. Yeah. So everything that you're learning, you keep it together. And it looks like you and your mom are being very mighty women by, you know, blessing us other women with giving us motivation. And yeah. we respect that totally. And empowerment yes yeah. so hopefully we'll have all the information to put up on the web and the yeah. later and so uh and yeah how can we get to some of your music is it out already or what we got going um, anything i'm working on an ep right now okay and it should be released by next month so what about your twitter and facebook yeah, instagram, instagram. instagram. Mm -hmm. you can follow us on instagram at element essence sounds okay um you know element essence sounds mm -hmm. and we have a website well not the website but you can follow us on Twitter, mm -hmm. Element Essence. Step over here so they can see you on camera. Look right there yeah. and talk to the camera. Baby. There you go. Yes. 
So you can follow us on Instagram at Element Essence Sounds mm-hmm. and on Twitter at Element Essence. All righty. All right. Big ups. Keep up the good work. I respect you. You know, that is awesome. And good yeah. job, Mom. You have yes, a very beautiful job. daughter. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're going to take us to a commercial break right now. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. some pit bull jumping oh, off the head of the house. Baby. Huh? <laughs> That's how we get down. Mm. Oh, nah. I got some in the car. Okay. We'll bring Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth All right. Yo, As I'm transformed from my pit bull. Oh, showed up. I'm on fire with my pit bull. I mean, for real, I don't know what to say if it was before I came into the pit bull. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell y'all, we be having some fun on the show, man. In the yeah, middle of this, when y'all on the break, whoo, man, it be going down up in here sometimes. Uh, but in the meantime and in between time, we finna have a little session with Miss What's So Damn Sexy. It's already nasty. I mean, sexy time. It's sexy it's time. Sexy Cause you never know how long sexy time but might take. Cause dim uh, lights. They turn on the music. What 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 is <laughs> smooth music? Yeah, we need some. some very white Show you right, baby. Show you right, baby. Show you right, baby. Yeah, I know it's hard. Yeah, uh, yeah we need yeah. something real smooth and yeah. gentle so she can yeah. be, you know, not know I'm stroking. <laughs> yeah, none of that kind. Not of not that way back. We need some real. And we don't want Nobody didn't got shot up. Now we don't want no. Uh, nah, nah, you can't. You can't we don't want no Marvin no, Gaye. Who was it? Was that the one that got shot up? We don't want no shoot 'em up. We need somebody that was a real love of man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We could even do some Stevie. Stevie? I don't know. Oh, baby, baby, no he's too much begging. Yeah, you know he wanna. Shoot. I need somebody. I'll show you right. Man. You know, maybe Luther. Is somebody like, just talk to you. You be yeah. like, oh, who that's behind why I said, me? That's why I said Barry. Jesus, <laughs> I know it's a man. <laughs> you ain't got to wonder if it's a ship. <laughs> a a who behind me? You all see like see this is. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is a great time. Uh oh. Okay. All right, all right. What we got in the house? 
Well, what you got for us tonight, Miss? I got a little bit of everything. Uh, no music. Um, again. Yeah, here we go. On, we wait, got wait, music. Wait a minute, huh? you got to get introduction properly. Let's start this over. Clear your throat, baby. We got to get this done right. All right, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I want y'all to tone it down just a minute. Tonight we're gonna have Miss Sexy in the house, and let's get ready to start the show. I don't know about that. Many times if we love and Hey, I'm oh, loving yeah. that. That's right. I'm loving that, okay? Yeah. It's a good time, y'all. We're going to make that my music. Hey, somebody <laughs> mess around and get pregnant tonight. I <laughs> mean, baby, baby. Hey. I'm saving yeah. it. Hey. hey, come on, y'all. I'm saving it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to ring first. Huh? Yellow diamond. Hey, y'all kids don't know nothing about this, but uh. Oh, hey. hey. What? Oh. Can't get enough of your love, baby. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Girl, I don't know, I don't mm-hmm. know why. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Can't get enough of your love. They don't even sing about stuff like this no they more, you know what I'm saying? They don't even talk about oh, yeah. it. Yeah, they do. I like this. Huh. No matter how I try. Not like that. No, no. Tell him, man. Tell him, Barry, what? Baby, Baby that's all right. I'm a giver. Yeah. I, I'm a receiver. <laughs> What's so damn sexy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's so damn sexy? Okay. Talk All right, y'all. What's so sexy is, you know, last week when we talked, mm. we talked about... Did um, you bring it back? No, I didn't bring it back. Okay. <laughs> but we had mm, a few mm, mm. Um, penises, mm-hmm. and we talked about <laughs> um, masturbating. And I realized that our listeners, all of them, are not into penetration. Mm-hmm. So I thought I would... Um, kind of introduce some things that for for people who were not into penetration there's a lot of things you know just things that you can put some batteries in and just can rub rub it out okay and it has different speeds and then there's different ones you know so you just kind of pick Oh, you a connoisseur? I was just a speed what? door. <laughs> okay, it's slow down. Be. Okay, slow See, down. These, these yeah. got little lips. What's that yes. for? Is that pocket what? It's, it's, al- it's almost a pocket a lip. A pocket mouth. We make noise like, <laughs> like a real lips. Like. Wait, well, you know what, though? What? Yeah. You put some lube on it. Yeah. And you kind of concentrate on them. <laughs> you might hear them sucking sounds that she you doing. Turn that damn TV down. <laughs> okay. 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 And then this one, this is one of my favorites. Oh, I want to see oh, it. I want to touch it. Look at that. See, there she goes. She always want to touch, touch something. something. <laughs> <laughs> always. I ain't mad at her. But this what right is here, that? That's a back massage. But this one is there like you a go. back massage. Exactly. And you just plug it in and just kind of And it's kind of small. You rub that where? Hey, rub it out. You know what? Heart? It might be small, about? but you got to remember. Your clitoris, of course. Yeah. That rough? Hold yeah, on. No, you don't nah, have to not rub rough. it. You like, rub it out. That's no, not rough. rough. <laughs> you might end up there. You're scaring me because that's, that's, that's for women, right? Yeah. Hold on. This yeah. A man exactly. ain't got no clitoris. Yes, no. no. Okay. No. So, you know, because people oh, like me are virgins. I'm trying to get a, a picture in my eye. you know Since you mentioned gentlemen, like when you give in oral sex, you can use this to give him some Where? stimulation under his testicles. Uh, I don't think so. Close to the butthole? Ooh, no. Tiger, whoa. No. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you you got, okay, wait, wait. Listen. You got the penis. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn the, the music meat. down. And you put <laughs> it between the meat and the balls is what you said? Because you know nuts is gentle. I'm learning. On the testicles. You can put a little on the testicles. You know how guys like no. humming. Okay, oh, humming. yeah, I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Well, if you do that, Easy you ain't got to hum. Okay. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> I think, you know, I think... Okay, so, so wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we need a bet. picture. We should have had the thing here to put it in the right spot. This ain't fair. The next time, you bring the new know what. Okay? I'm yeah, yeah, telling you, come here with that. The DI. I see. Okay. No, that's all okay. she want to do is see it again. But no, for real though, and listen to this, man. What's so damn sexy is you eating your vegetables, so when you get 55 and 60, you can still do something. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. We ain't got time exactly. for all that. I don't know. My mind ain't right. Exactly. If I, I ain't even 50 <laughs> yet. If I run to another one that's soft, I swear to God, I'm going to keep <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, what's so like, damn hey, man. sexy? Oh my this God. pocket pussy to keep you right until this, you find something right. This one is really popular as well. This one is a pocket rocket. A pocket Can rocket. I touch something? Why are you playing? <laughs> Pass it around. She always yeah, wants to touch something. Hold on, what is the pocket <laughs> rocket for? Pocket rocket is for clitoral stimulation oh, okay, as well. Yeah, right. While she in the car is it? Either in the car, by yourself, or anywhere. You can you walk up the stairs anywhere. with it? Probably can't walk up the stairs with it. Okay. Unless you're really good. Unless yeah. you're really good. <laughs> ah, that's my girl. And shit. Okay. Girl, if you can walk up the stairs with a pocket pussy, or you, you know, with a pocket rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need you to call 3663949471. You're always trying to get somebody to call him. Yeah, I swear, I ain't got to call yet. I've been exactly. saying that for six months and shit. Exactly. And, and, well, and, somebody marry me. I don't want no call. I know that's right. I need a yellow diamond. You know I want to practice for Now, listen. Be smart. This right here is a book about oh, toys. Oh, We just lost a gang of people. Hold on. No. We didn't lose anybody. Toygasms. Toygasm, this is about toys. Okay. About sex toys for different things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So you kind of read through to find out what's your interest so you know what, what you're looking for when you go to a sex store or go online. Fattoys.com, P H A T T O Y S.com. Okay, now um, you, you can find Fat Toys on Twitter, mm -hmm. Fat Toys, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> okay, and all this Instagram. Stuff, that's for mainly for women or for men too. This is gonna be men and women because oh. a lot of times uh -huh. men are mostly intimidated by toys because they think that they're gonna be Take replaced. Over, yeah. Uh huh. And trust me, until football season. You know what else? <laughs> trust me, okay. toys are not gonna replace you. Okay. Toys can't get a job. They and not help gonna, you. Okay. They Extend not. They not gonna it. take the garbage out. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna pay my car note, none mm -hmm. of that. Ooh. Okay, so so the toys to you when you're talking shit. and ain't gonna listen to me when she I'm said talking that's shit. Right. <laughs> she said that's right. Okay, okay. so tell so, me this. So you saying that the toys intimidate men and do different maybe types of vaginas and nipples and titties intimidate men? Do you have a book that talks about the different types of you, parts what, that we oh, have because every woman and stuff is different every woman that, is different that. but you know what though we're in the age of the information highway and you can go online and just google just about sure. absolutely anything yeah, about everything. penises about uh vaginas about hermorphodites the people who got the two the, mm -hmm. you yeah. can you can just about get any kind of information you want i most of my information comes from the internet and from stories that my clients Clients tell me about what they done did because I haven't done everything that they done did. I couldn't possibly. So you have you know? books, you got books. toys, you probably got outfits, oh, you got yes. shoes, everything. you got chains, absolutely, you got everything. whips. I'm coming yes. now. I'm coming come, over there. Come over. I'm, we gonna make a point. I get there, we gonna yes. film it all, baby. Right. We, all, we, all, we all going. We all going to the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I got a video. Yeah. Let's go stand in the okay, wait, wait, wait. But still, yes. one thing. Now, last week we had the the penises, but then the week before we had the extendo penises. Yes. <laughs> and yes. somebody asked me, how does that work? They couldn't, you know, <coughs> like I put it on. Yeah, like uh, well, really. I mean, it's, but let me explain. The extended penises, they're like uh, a condom that stretches on to a gentleman. Oh, like a and sock. And some, are, yes. And some gentlemen can get an erection, mm -hmm. but they can't keep it. Mm -hmm. There's, mm -hmm. the, so they, they sell a, a hollow strap-on for a gentleman like that. A hollow strap-on. It's, it's a hollow strap-on. And what it is, it's a strap just like a woman would use on another woman, but it's hollow. Mm -hmm. So a gentleman, if he can't uh, achieve an erection or keep it, mm -hmm. he can actually still perform with his partner with an erect penis. Have you ever been hit by one of those? Oh, I got, I got them big shebangs. Well, does, does it, it feel, because does it feel regular? Like, I'll be like, you know what? <laughs> Come on, like, help if us you out. Put, if you put some lubrication, there's warming lubrication, there's tingling wait lubrication. Wait a minute, warming means that it get hot? Yes. See, now that affects me. I can't put nothing hot down there. It's That's not going to be hot. It's going to be warm, like a man's real that? warm penis would be. You know, and I'm sure you would appreciate your penis being warm. warm. I swear, the one time I had anything warm down there, it was a fight. I was on the sink with cold. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I 
sensitive. I'm sensitive. Oh, okay, you know, right. I'm like I say, everybody might not be sensitive. Well, you got to yeah, be. Everybody more can't eat hot sauce. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yes. <laughs> for sure. Go in yes. hot, coming out hot. Yes, you got to um, really man. be careful. You really got to be careful because that is a sensitive area. Mm -hmm. And if you're super sensitive, I would recommend maybe some uh, so, soy sauce. Not, not, sauce. not so, not soy sauce or hot sauce. In the tub. You know, maybe something hyperallergenic. There you okay. go. And can yeah. you test it first? Yes, no, works. well, you can't test it because we don't want you in the store yeah. rubbing on your stuff with yeah. the No, lube. no, no, not like that crazy <laughs> Saying, lady. I don't know. No. This might work for me. I mean, like, okay, look, look, look. I'm a hairdresser. So uh -huh. before you get color, you get a patch test, you know, to oh. see if you're allergic to it. So oh. like, just asking if there was a, you know. Well, that's why we would do hyperallergenic for you because we, we wouldn't, we ain't trying to do a patch test. I'm cool test. on that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. You keep it real. You should be asking all them clients, yes. is you yes. allergenic? Yes. <laughs> Well, usually people come in and say that they are allergic to everything. And then that's when I recommend something hyperallergenic. Okay. Yeah, or something organic. So out of this table full of toys, which one is your favorite over there? You know what? You want it back? I There's my hand. the Hitachi Magic Wand. I didn't bring it today no, because it's, it's much bigger. A wand? And like the last thing from last week? No, no, no. Oh. It's 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 very much like this, but it's bigger. Oh, wow. But it's bigger, fatter, and, and it's yes, fatter or yes, longer. bigger, longer, fatter, and everything. And it takes everything. and it takes attachments. Two hands. No, it'll take. You know about all this. <laughs> <laughs> you real experience. How old is you again? Fifty four. And you work? Yeah. Fifty four. <laughs> But yeah, it takes attachments, the Hitachi Magic Wand, and then they just made a new one that's rechargeable, and the rechargeable one has multiple speeds, whereas you can push the button, and it got, I think it's got up to seven speeds. It seven is awesome. Speeds. Listen to it this. is it awesome. awesome. Yes. I'm excited just talking <laughs> about that one. see how one. excited I got about talking seven about speeds. it. Seven speeds. I need a husband. I ain't going for the toy. I need a man. Okay. I don't want a toy. Well, you know what, though? When you do get a man, you know, so that you guys stay interested That's in each right. other's, you guys are gonna need to play with play. toys. That's fine. Wait on him. I don't want to get him. Be like, hey, I need you to stick this in my toe, no, this no. in my elbow, <laughs> no. and do this and do that. No. So I want to be able to explore that with yes, him. No, I don't want to already be turned out that with him. You won't be turned out. Turned out. You know, be, listen. Be all Olivia. I'm telling you to do is <laughs> now, while you don't have a man, <laughs> so that you're not on edge. I'm not. On take edge. care of yourself, baby. Oh, no, you I'm not on edge. On edge <laughs> when they put a dick in your hand, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know you're supposed to say those two words at the same time. I'm just saying, I know the preacher in the house. I heard. <laughs> It's okay. I don't need that it's at home. Okay. I'll probably be on fire. If I had that at home, I'd probably be like on the phone like, yeah, I'm about to turn it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he going to be on the end like, well, shit, what's that you talking about? But see, here's the point. <laughs> you know, when you're trying to have the proper, you know, you, I want to uh, I want to be doing my projects as far as business attributions and not uh -huh. getting stuck on going home to my, my battery's charged up. You know? well, like, you I've you heard women come in the hair salon, they getting their hair done, and, they and I've been talking about their husband, I ain't talking about the dang wine. Yeah. Well, because sometimes it's fulfilling. <laughs> okay, well, so do, what about Viagra? What do you think about Viagra? Because I heard. Well, I think Viagra is a wonderful thing for people who can use it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of other over-the-counter things that um, are a lot better than Viagra. Thank God. Don't quote me. <laughs> but um, I have had a lot of people who complain about Viagra because it's really strong. Mm -hmm. You know, the dosage is, and it's like when you really, really, really need it. Mm -hmm. You know, other guys that may be 40 and over, you know, they may have, you know, different, a little difficulty, you know, rising because they may have blood, high blood pressure or yeah. uh, sugar diabetes or different sure. things like that, mm -hmm. you know, that their medication messes with them, mm -hmm. their erection. Mm -hmm. So um, they sometimes need to take something. And a lot of times Viagra is not what's needed. Mm. You know, yeah. they could use something that just will give them a little bit more energy right. so right. that they can uh, keep the erection that they get, you know, right. a little longer. And that's why it's important yeah. to 
sleep good, men. Take your vitamins. Yeah. Eat your Wheaties. And drink plenty drink of water. Bulls. Drink water. plenty of water yes. as well as that pit bull. Oh, watch out, man. <laughs> I mean, the pit bull to me, I, I mean, honestly, yeah. I kind of like it. I don't know what this joke. I, mean, I, I really get yeah. energy from it. Yeah. And then, you know, afterwards, I don't feel like I'm, like, let down. You know, oh, like yeah, I just yeah. Yeah. jump through a mm-hmm. hoop or something, you know. Yeah, it's good. It's a, it's a very good but energy it does, drink. It does a body good. Mm-hmm. And so you think that long-term use of toys with your partner helps sustain a loving relationship because life is about keeping it fresh, keeping yeah. it fun, yeah. mm-hmm. a little nasty, a little classy. Yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. Yeah. And then you don't play with toys with everybody. Exactly. You do. don't. You know, I really think that toys give... A gentleman staying power. Okay, what about this? What if you meet a man and he come out the closet with like eight toys? I'm like, well, you, don't get you this know what? Good the thing for me? is, is I never, I recommend never bring something that you didn't use with somebody else. <laughs> Tell the men again. Tell the men again. Bring some new stuff. Okay, Let's go fellas, shopping for together. some new toys. Okay, <laughs> together. Because I ain't that finna use the stuff that you didn't use on everybody okay, else. Don't give me herpes okay. or something. I ain't shit. Sure. <laughs> she <laughs> under the, up under the crevice yeah. or whatnot. And he no, don't know what no, that no, last I'm girl cool. had. Probably and green. Cool. Gushing she out. was all right. And he be like, she was all right. She smelled like vinegar. Yeah, she was gushing. That's why she put the vinegar in there, dummy. I no, she sterilized the thing. No, yeah. fool. I swear she was cool. Yeah. I don't know why I'm with you. You don't know why you didn't turn to a raisin. Your stuff been changed up in the last oh, six months. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it had nothing to do, huh? Yeah, it did, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Look yeah. at him. He ain't even sitting up the same. Uh, okay. Uh, That's his name, because that ain't the one I know. They call him Todd Willie. Because they changing my line, baby. They change when they go. So they go through something yes. traumatic, baby. They Your do. penis change. Y'all they better do. stay the same. They do. And you can tell. If, mm. you, if you watch penis, is, mm. You can tell if one is sick. Yes, and, and, and all of them ain't. I know how to choose. You know how to tell. You, you, know you, know you, you can tell, tell when the dick is sick. You can look at that motherfucker. You can like, oh, you can look at him and tell. You can feel that in the dark. You can feel that in the dark. Oh Lord, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. oh girl, girl, never take a dick and you ain't seen. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> Listen to this. When I do comedy, my motto is, "Let me see." It. Let Most me see it, baby. Like, oh. The lights is on, boo boo. You got to have. We ain't got to get that far. You know? Shit, okay. Oh, Go on and show me what you're working with. Exactly. I agree with that part. Yeah, can you bang, bang, bang? No, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's the pit bull. I don't know. I swear I wouldn't like this yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to go see Stride of Compton yet? Hey, yeah, I saw you. Not yet. Right. I'm still working. I'm, I, I need a date. I ain't paying for that. I know. Why? 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 It costs a lot? I need popcorn. I need a Slurpee. <laughs> if I get scared, I want somebody to hold my oh, hand. You know, to open the car door. You know, tell me why I look good, smell good. Is, oh, my is that God. real? You know what I'm saying? I need the whole ambiance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take straight, me out. But she's straight out of Compton acting like that. Like, <laughs> excuse me. I'm from 105th and Hoover. Oh, my God. I'm straight out of L.A., baby. It's straight out of L.A. Move to Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. But I'm cool with Compton. Bompton. Right. What? Uh, if you got that popcorn money, y'all, uh, me, myself, you pop that popcorn before you leave the house okay. and put it in the bag. <laughs> it's not the same. I got some in my bag now, though, for real, uh, while you hate it. That is delicious. I'm cut you up because I got some popcorn yeah, in my bag. Got, got good butter I'm going to pull it, it out. I'm going to pull it out. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got a mic away. Yeah. That's that pit bull. Y'all. Pit bull in the house. Pit bull the Pit bull got us going, honey. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep, so uh, the same way we came in to show y'all, mm-hmm. 
It's going to be the same way we're going out. We're going back out on a good note. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. And I just want y'all to know we got Pastor Dr. Dre in the house who opened the house with prayer today straight out of Atlanta, not Compton. <laughs> But just for the record, he did step out while we got loose yeah, on the yeah, What's So cool. Damn yeah. Sexy. He come stepped out. I don't know if he missed it. Bring a chair over here for me. But he stepped on come out. Here, so that's a, a, a true man of God. Yes, it is. I yes, hope sir. my bishop Reverend don't get me because I've been on it. We got Reverend Jacobs over there. And Reverend, Reverend Jacobs. Another one was over there right. watching. Right. Lord right. Jesus. Jacobs in the house too. Yeah, Reverend just to let y'all know. Yeah, we be climbing around in here, but we have some serious moments up in here also. You we know pray for saying? us some good men and women in our lives. We need all of that. We mm -hmm. need to make sure that they can help us out with, you know, a few things in our love life. You know, that we can be strong and healthy love life. Make Not, sure. We don't want no... We don't want no partial love jumping off. We had enough of that. I'm getting married once. Once? Yeah. I'm getting married once more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying with mine. <laughs> I'm going to put an extendo right. on it if it stops working. Pastor Dr. Dre. Yes, sir. Tell us something good, man. Tell us something good right now. Uh, good. Right now. Right now. Right now. God is great. Amen. Yes, he is. All right. He said something good. That was good. That was very good. That's All right. You can go now. No. <laughs> 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 no, how you doing, Pastor? Man, uh, doing well. uh, tell us about your church, man. Where you from? Man? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. All right. Yes, I left my my wife and family. Not left them. Yeah. Okay. Just came here on business. <laughs> I was gonna say, what kind of pastor is you? <laughs> Damn. Bishop, that's a man of one wife. Oh, now. My goodness. Oh, I left my beautiful wife. All right, children, don't marry. <laughs> What's her name? What's your beautiful wife's name? The first uh, Berlinda, lady. Belinda, Belinda, and Jasmine. And How y'all doing Anita out there, Belinda and Jasmine? First Are lady, Belinda. First lady. Yes, they're back there in the ATL. All right. And uh, right. out here on business. All right. What yes. kind of business you out here? Well, um, I'm a father, a husband, a dad, a pop. <laughs> A new granddaddy. A new granddaddy. For the first time. And that's a beautiful thing. Uh, Vietnam veteran. All right, Mr. Now. And uh, author of three books. Three book author. And a cyclist. That means bike, in case y'all ain't knowing. <laughs> you do spin classes or you get out there? No, I just completed 7,000 miles. Oh, uh, you get on the road. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you did what for 7,000 miles? Uh, 1994, I did 1150. 2006, I did 3450. And 2009, I did 2,500 total and 7,000. Now I'm going to do 3,000 in two weeks. Man, I still be better. 3,000, huh? I'll be tired. What kind of bike are you cycling on? I can't get any of them bikes because no, no bike company has, has uh, sponsored me, so I'm not going to dare give a name of a bike. I feel you there. Oh, hey, man, show up, bro. Uh, you want to sponsor me on this journey because this journey is going to take me from Atlanta to Montgomery, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, Selma, Alabama, Gulfport, Mississippi, New Orleans, San Antonio, Texas, Austin, Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, up through Indianapolis, Indiana, back to Chicago to be with Oprah to endorse my three books, then to Cleveland, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, Cleveland, uh, Austin, Columbus, Ohio, then through to Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, East Virginia, then I'm going to meet Barack Obama and, and Michelle Obama at the White House, then I'm up to Baltimore, Maryland, Camden, New Jersey, New Jersey, uh, right. then New York City, then to London. All right, well, I don't know exactly where you at. I know one thing, you saving money on gas riding that bike all over the place. I'm like, like. I just want to know how you're going to ride a bike to London. Life well, is like Jesus a box walked on water. Chocolate. That was Jesus. I'm going to fly with water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> ADS campaign, which stands for Homelessness, Illiteracy, Physical Disabilities, Education, Autism, and Down Syndrome. Those are my issues I write on. Okay. Bringing awareness What's the to name one more time? Yeah, say it a little bit. The Bike for Hype campaign, okay. which stands for Homelessness. I used to be homeless. Uh -huh. I lived in a cardboard box for four years uh -huh. after managing Little Richard uh, for 12 years. Okay. No respect. Yes. No respect. Okay. So homelessness, illiteracy, physical disabilities, education, autism, and Down syndrome. All right. Are just the things that you're helping at this moment. Now, did you make your bike yourself? No. Okay. Now, are you doing this every year for until you? Negative. Negative. I only do it when the spirit tells me to. Oh. So this year we're out. We've I've raised. 
solo on a bike over seven point one million dollars. All right, yo, that's so you get sponsors all over and sometime. Okay, so what are you doing this, this time? time? I'm looking for some heavy sponsors. Let me, let me ask you this then: How do we how do we get to you to sponsor you? Well, you go to www.thecityoflifefoundation.org. Thecityoflifefoundation.org. And this year we're taking a, a number of celebrities with us uh, from all to all these different locations. I'm going to be speaking for Joe Osteen, T.D. Jake, uh, um, uh, speaking in, in all the different venues, uh, as well as uh, in Brooklyn Tabernacle in New York City and Bishop John Francis over in London. So I'm taking a, a state of the human race address to all these different locations. And how, how long have you been doing this? Well, this is to be... 20 years in doing it, but I, again, I only do it when the spirit tells me to, so. So you're not no spring chicken here. Now, how old are you? I'm 26 here? twisted. 26 twisted. twisted. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Huh. Yeah. And how did that 26 make twisted. <laughs> <laughs> 26 twisted. So you're 62. Uh, and yeah. you, like, you exercise with the sickling or the biking on a regular basis. Well, they call it spin <laughs> class. <laughs> You know, so bicycling, I'm sure there's a nickname for it when you're riding. Yeah, it's a nickname for it. What is it? Bicycling. Bicycling. That's the whole name. No. <laughs> like spin. When they told me we were going to spin class, I thought I was going to be like spinning in a circle. They put me on a stationary bike and I about died. So that's a really tough. Well, this year we're doing uh, a, a grandioso style. I'm taking a film crew. We're doing a, a surreal show out of it called Where is Dr. Dre mm. Now? Dr. Dre. Um, and then we're doing a a, uh, a a documentary. Then we're also doing a film at the end of the at the end of this tour. I'm we're out to you, raise forty million dollars in four months. Go to Compton and call out Dr. Dre. Well, I'm try, I, I really want to get Dr. Dre meets Dr. Dre in Compton. Go call him out. What's up, Dr. Yeah, Dre? Where you at? You at? Oh, hear us. Where you at? Yeah, Somebody he, hear us. He, tell him. You need to call me right now. What's your number, Doc? Doc, call Dr. me at Dre. six seven eight. Mm-hmm. Three three zero. What? Uh, seven 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 uh, four. Woo! Well, you made seven, it easy seven, for him. One more time. Four. One more time, Dr. Dre. Say it again. Doc. Six seven eight. Mm -hmm. Seven eight. Three three zero. Three three zero. Seven. Seven 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 four four. Hey, that number like my number. That's we did hot. not say four either. He said four. four. You huh. know? Don't you know? Hit him with that four. Yeah. Hit him with the four. Hit him with but the we have to raise forty million. Forty million. Forty million. Plus. 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 And we're gonna give a third of it away. Well, I'm gonna get to try to clean out. You need an MC I just need a third girl. of a third. Anybody, you know need, anybody needing a scholarship to go to school, you don't have to go work. You don't have to worry about getting a grant. You can't. Mm -hmm. you can't get a PayPal. You mm -hmm. can't get a student loan. Mm -hmm. Go to our website. Mm -hmm. to register. You know, caution. Nothing to register. What's the side? You what? didn't give it to us, Red. I did. Dr. Yes, Dre. www. The the city city of of life life foundation foundation dot org dot org. See now you know we special nowadays. You know that's a long promo. We need one more time. One more again. Yes. One more again. The uh -huh. the T H E. Mm -hmm. Woo. Mm -hmm. C I T Y. I said O F. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. L I F E. Mm. Here's the bad one. The F O U N D. That's the bad one. A T I O N. Good God. Dot. Dot. O R G. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's awesome huh. because you don't see people all the time helping and giving back. Or they can just Google my name. They go, you better Dr. Google my Dre. name. No, don't go to Andre. Uh -oh. They're going to get the other one. You might get uh -oh. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> go to Andre uh -huh. Willis. We had quiet in the mofo. We'll say it again. Andre <laughs> Willis. 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 Right. Andre Willis. Or yeah. go to my Facebook. Uh -huh. Facebook. Andre Willis. No. No. <laughs> Come on now. Book name, Eli. Eli. Look here. You're going to have to get this all together now. He Eli, together. Andre, Willis, Dr. Dre. Hold on. Just get this part right here. Eli. <laughs> Eli. Marshall. Marshall. Okay. Evans. Evans. We ain't done. Grant. Grant. I ain't going to ask about your Instagram. You better. You better. <laughs> okay. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> Woo. Shoot. All righty then. Hey, you can't get no better energy at the end of the show than this oh. right here. Well, I just want to thank you, Dr. Dre. I'm riding, riding 3,000 miles. Riding 3,000. Thank, thank you prayers. for giving back, you know. Thank you encouragement. Thank you very much for Yo. giving back. We looking for Dr. Dre, the real one. So call in. Oh, get oh, with it. One more thing. One more thing. Hold on. We have Pastor Jacobs in the house. Huh. And he resides here. 
Mm-hmm. That means he live around here. We are linked up <laughs> with his foundation, the mm-hmm. Jacobs Deliverance Foundation. Oh, yeah? That is doing Feed the Hungry on September the 7th of this year. You want to eat? He want to feed you. Oh, my need goodness. bring him to the mic. Okay. Come on up here for a hot second. Come we got on, get one your 20 hurry, seconds, hurry. baby. We got, you can tell him about this food, man. Come on, young man, so get it in. So today. I'm on hungry today. Young man, get it in. I'm hungry on August 20th. <laughs> I'm 20th. Yeah. But I'm going to hold out till September. <laughs> you, got, you, you can hold out. <laughs> Lord, help me to oh, hold man. out. That's right. So, oh. now, how can we get fed now? Tell us how we can get fed. All right. What we're doing, we're actually doing, we're, we are actually having a barbecue mm-hmm. uh, in Pasadena, mm-hmm. right on the edge of Pasadena, next parking lot uh, on Woodbury and Fair Oaks. Okay. What time? It's between 6, the 12 to 6. It just depends how many people come. We're expecting 2,600 people. Uh- Y'all got that much chicken and stuff? We got that much. We got enough chicken and stuff for 3,000. What? what? Now we coming to eat. We Y'all coming got to fish eat. people like me? Now look, this is what we do. Okay, what we do? We actually want people to realize, remember where they came from. Mm-hmm. That's right. So therefore, we actually give them real ribs, mm-hmm. not no fake stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Real pork ribs, real beef ribs. Uh-huh. Real hot links, mm-hmm. oh, okay, that's right. and real chickens. Okay. All we need now to complete right. that is the real people. And Come we, on, <laughs> show it up. Uh, okay, so are you giving out education? And we gonna have baked beans, potato salad. Oh and, my you god! You have a website for this event? I'm you have a website or anything? Yes, I do. It's JDFC. It's JDF Cares. Uh-huh. It's JDF Cares dot org. What a C. C. Okay. JDFcares.org. Yeah. All right. Okay. And if they go to JDF Cares, they will get everything that they need. They get all the information on our organization, what we're actually about, and we're about ending hunger in Los Angeles. Well, most hungry folks don't have a internet, so what's the hey, phone number? A whole lot of them got a, a phone, though. Right. <laughs> so they get them government <laughs> phones. They got those. Phone. They government. free. And they plug them up in McDonald's and stuff. They sitting there like, my Anywhere. Well, I tell you what. Charges. The phone number is 626. There you go. Mm-hmm. Three, I mean, 993-6814. Mm-hmm. Say it one more time and we got to go, y'all. 626. Yes. 993-6814. Yes. All right. Say one prayer and we out the door. One oh, prayer. Quickly. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you for for this studio being in session on this on this evening lord we ask you to bless everyone that's that's in here and ask you to bless them and keep them until the next appointed time in the jesus name we pray amen, amen. i think i say oh all right y'all what's so I damn y'all. funny that was good, that was good. I'd like to welcome to the stage the lyrically acclaimed. I like this young man because when he came out, he came out with the phrase. He went from ashy to classy. I like that. So everybody in the house, give a warm round of applause for the notorious B.I.T. The notorious B.I.T. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him, y'all. Oh. Never been as broke as me, I like that When I was young I had two pair of leads Besides that, the pinstripes in the gray uh-huh. The one I wore on Mondays and Wednesdays uh-huh. My flirt, I'm sewing tigers on my shirt And alligators, uh-huh. you wanna see the inside huh. I'll see you later, here come the drama Oh, that's that with the fake uh-huh. Wow, why you don't me in my face Stay in your place, play your position uh-huh. Here come my intuition, uh-huh. go in this pocket My room while his friends watch it <laughs> uh-huh. Here comes respect Cruise your crew, or they might be next. Look at they man, I big man, they never try, so we roll with them, force with them. I mean, loyalty.
Put me milks at lunch, the milks with chocolate, the cookies, or the crunch. Hey, hey, eyes cost some blue and white duck. Ask the slut. Thank <laughs> you. 